Military Greetings. Welcome to Power Struggles Military Channel. Russia is shocked. The Abrams X is armed with a 120mm cannon capable of firing MRM, AMP and AK ammunition. The Abrams X tank is exhibited by General Dynamics at the U.S. Army's annual fair in Washington, D.C. The Abrams X technology demonstration includes a completely new armor package to increase protection against anti-tank guided missiles and RPGs, rocket-propelled grenades. This tank is also equipped with Trophy APS, active protection system, which is fully integrated into the turret armor. The APS trophy increases the tank's resistance to anti-tank guided missiles, rocket-propelled grenades, RPGs, and recoilless weapon threats by using a kinetic, hard kill mechanism to intercept and disrupt, defeat incoming threats. The Abrams X is armed with a new generation 120mm cannon capable of firing the new MRM, mid-range munitions, AMP, advanced multi-purpose, and AIC, advanced kinetic energy ammunition. With a crew reduction of 3, the tank is equipped with an automatic loading system. The coaxial machine gun is mounted to the right of the main armament and remotely operated weapon station armed with a 30mm automatic cannon mounted on the turret roof. Abrams X pointing towards hybrid future? The Abrams X is powered by a hybrid power pack that reduces total tank weight for increased mobility and ease of transport, providing the same tactical range as the M1A2 Abrams with 50% less fuel consumption. In preparation for the future integration of hybrid systems into the U.S. Army, the service has been conducting tests and trials to de-risk as much of the technology as possible and determine operating practices. In addition, two Bradley AFVs were converted to hybrid drive under a program with the Rapid Capabilities Office to further test such technologies and integration into U.S. platforms. Industry is also seemingly taking into account the move towards hybrid drive systems with General Dynamics presenting its Abrams X at ASA 2022, showcasing technologies that it thinks could become relevant to future U.S. Army requirements. Included in this was hybrid drive and reduced crew requirements, as is being seen with the OMFV. Tristan Sauer, land domain analyst at Global Data, said the Abrams X technology would gain significant traction amongst U.S. Army procurement officials. Tristan Sauer, land domain analyst at Global Data, said the Abrams X technology would gain significant traction amongst U.S. Army procurement officials. Sauer said the Abrams X also features several technologies that are being integrated throughout the U.S. Army's vehicle fleets, including active protection systems, augmented reality, crewed uncrewed teaming, and more. However, the integration of multiple advanced and emerging technologies risks increasing per unit costs too far to warrant widespread adoption. That's the information for today. See you at the next military information, so don't forget to continue to support the Power Struggles Military channel, so that we are more enthusiastic about providing the latest information for you. Thank you for watching to the end.